Well, however, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Lego Dimensions review, and this one's on the two uh, Harry Potter pack, uh, or, uh, packs that were made for Dimensions from both 2016 uh, and 17, of course. So on the front of each box, we would have some interesting artwork from the games and the Lego and Dimensions logos and age group amount of pieces and that's a team pack and fun pack and the set numbers and then down below see large bit of orange and green well since for the both team pack and fun packs that they were and then all the pieces that are components that there are in both ones and the Harry Potter logos of course on the top part is just the fun pack and team pack in other languages and also a starter pack and internet connection required for both of these and on the sides of both are just that same artwork on the top flat part but and also the lego and dimensions logos and on to the back side we which have saying three and one on both of them and also the main build and the alternate models for both packs of course and then little choking hazard tt games logos and also the ballerinas and adventure worlds for both of them of course and that's about it with the meat boxes then. And now onto the two instructor manuals, which kind of the same pictures as the front flat parts, of course. Uh, just how to make the mini figs, of course. And then start the game and download the latest game content to use this character, of course, and then all that stuff. And then building is part of play. Of playing the game of course and then advertisement for some other uh, fun packs from wave one or year one of course and then advertisement for some uh, fun packs from wave two or year two which went to that expect for a future throwback Thursday of course and then level packs of year two, of course. And some of the team packs, of course. And then, and of course, year two, first year of story packs, of which Fantastic Beasts also part of Wizarding World. I would always want, obviously. But yeah. And then the pieces included, and then how to win on the online survey, and the So now, on to all the mini picks included with both packs. First, we would have Harry Potter himself, a witch, which would not at all need like printing, but also the torso printing, quite good for the time. Well, same as from the uh, 2010 and 11 waves. Wave of sets, of course. Same with the face printing as well, and hair printing, all or hair piece, also the same as that kind of range of sets. So at least can kind of see a bit of the scar there. And then, and of course, still having the uh, semi-smallish bar piece 
for the wand with all of these. As well since, of course, this was shortly before the uh, 2018 uh, uh, version of the theme came around, of course. And then next to which we have He Who Was Not Be Named, aka Lord Voldemort, of course, who which the face printing, quite good for her and well suiting to that. And as for the torso printing, uh, which being uh, some uh, greenish uh, wrinkles in the cloak, of which, and of course, black cape piece, which all looks good for how it is. And of course, kind of the same as we had from the uh, 2010 and 11 range of that. And then lastly, Hermione Granger, and of course, depicting, most likely depicting her uh, Deathly Hollows appearance, of course, like with the denim jacket and uh, a pink sweatshirt underneath, and the, and the hairpiece and face printing quite suiting to that, of course. And then as for the uh, back torso printings of each, to the, and then both Harry and Hermione, and Hermione, oh, which do will have double sided faces. See a little bit of back torso printing for Voldemort, of course. And then, as for the base plate pieces, as for Harry's, which just the uh, Gryffindor symbol and his uh, signature scar mark. And as for Voldemort, it mostly has large snake print. A large snake around it, representing either the basilisk or an ingenie, of course. And then for Hermione, also the Gryffindor symbol and the Deathly Hollows symbol, obviously. So quite good to uh, make big selections for both of these. And of course, as for Harry and Voldemort together, can like the with can like display the. A big climax part in Deathly Hallows Part 2, of course. But yeah. And that is about it there. And on to the first of the builds is the Hogwarts Express. Well, as you can see, resting on a, a trans orange a cylinder and a toy tag of dimensions, of course, as all builds and dimensions do. And as for the build itself, kind of similar to most mini uh, Hogwarts Expresses we've previously had in like poly bags and well, we did have one poly bag, but it was a little bit larger than this. But at least kind of neat seeing a small version of that here, like the front part, which has one of those kind of column pieces, those but in black, which good use there and. Also, do you have these brackets that have a couple of a uh, hole hole in the middle studs for that, representing the front wheels, and just like the uh, Ghostbusters uh, uh, level pack does have one of those little bottom kind of pieces for it to roll kind of easily, and although kind of hard to do on this one, and then further down, do you have? A couple of train cart pieces as, as well and also do have a couple of these like rounded top bricks represent to get the curvedness of it and the back part of which a couple of cheese slope long cheese slopes for the roof part and a clear uh, plate representing the window as well but yeah and then the back side just a bracket hanging off most likely to do with the uh, alternate models, of course. Then bottom side, just nothing much to it, but yeah. And of course, enough room to fit your uh, toy tank onto, of course. And that is about it. Oh, and also a couple of studs used as the top part and smokestack, of course, but yeah. And now on to the enchanted car, otherwise Anglia. 
or of course, for the course. This, which kind of another small representation of that. You know, we did have plenty of, of which the following years as well. And as without the toy tank removed, it does work quite well without that. Like the front part, of which does have a usual kind of a uh, car hood kind of build to it, and a few uh, clear cheese slopes for the windshield and clear plates of which for the windowing and also do have a little more of that but with white cheese slopes there and another mini uh, car back hood part with red studs for the back tail lights of course and all of, all of which resting on a 2x4 plate then a couple of small plates as well and as for the uh, solidness of it does hold up quite well, really good for that, and enough space to fit the toy tank onto as well. And that was about it. Then. And now onto the one build included with the fun pack is a uh, buck beak. Although this is one of the only brick built buck beaks we've ever had. Well, and of course, it did have that kind of odd looking one that came out in the, the prior years of which, but, and then finally in 2019, got the new updated version, which did get d different prints a couple years after, but yeah. You can see all of which resting on a few clear bricks. Looks like that is all on a toy tag, of course. We do have a couple of cone or tan cones and uh, clips for the front legs, although I think could have worked out as well in white or gray, most likely gray for that. More suiting to that black bee. And then also one of those weird tooth pieces representing uh, extra feathers fluff there. And a large cheese slope going up to be his front uh, chest part. The, the head build of which done quite good for how it is. Although kind of reminiscent of the uh, Raptor Blue build in the Jurassic World team pack. But of course with the clear uh, stud that used used for the eyes on both sides, which does work out well for that. And the beak part also works out well. And then also these classic tooth pieces, but being used for the, used as ears, of course. And then further down do have the little wing pieces that we first seen in Legends of Chima, but used for his wings, of course, but although it's kind of a bit like inside words, kind of inwards, not like up, like up higher. I think should have been up higher, but whatever. And then the leg parts consisting of mostly a, a large curved slope and then a little cheese slope for the feet. And then for the back part of which, all that's missing is his tail. Which the other uh, buck beaks kind of did. But maybe they just couldn't figure out how to make extra piece. Or, get, or couldn't figure out how to add a tail into this. And of course, needed to save these pieces for the alternate models, of course. I guess that's about it there. <laughs> and so now, on to the final verdict. On both of these. Overall, I think these are which are quite good uh, uh, team pack and fun packs, of course. Like, although kind of an odd choice why Harry and Voldemort are together in a team pack, which, although I think uh, Ron Weasley could have worked out better because, you know, fitting with the Enchanted Car, of course. But although, what I would suggest maybe let there be a fun pack, including Voldemort and as uh, side build of a basilisk or which would could have worked out a little better but yeah 
and then also maybe a fun pack of uh, Rubius Hagrid with uh, a side build of Norbert or whatever. Maybe that that which could have worked out, but whatever. And as for the uh, mini builds in each one, uh, quite good representations of how they are. Although Buckbeak, I think, could have been a little better, but but of course, since these are earlier sets, I can kind of still forgive it. But of course, we did get better in the following couple of years of that, but yeah. And of course, they would kind of fair uh, price points for how they were if it weren't for the toy tag uh, base plates on them. Then, yeah. And of course, and of course, but also the minifigs were kind of bit reuses from the uh, previous waves from 2010 and 11. But and of course, that's kind of how some uh, minifigs in the dimensions line kind of were. But yeah, but at least, but then they got better with the 2018 uh, version of the Harry Potter theme, of course. So these, which were kind of sign of times, where they just had to make do with what there was. But yeah. And that is about it. With it. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets or add-on packs, then definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that was about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.